everybody and welcome back. Today I'm making a taco ring. An easy taco ring. If you've never made one, I'm going to show you how to do it and it's good. You can eat it hot, you can eat it cold, but it's good. First thing I'm going to do is brown. I have a pound of deer meat in here that I'm browning for you make the taco. I'm getting it all over my oven. You make the tacos just like you would like buy a taco package and follow the directions on that. So that's what I'm doing right now. Now as the hamburger is cooking, deer, I have deer meat in there, as that's browning you can cut up tomatoes, lettuce, onions, olives, whatever you'd like to put on your tacos. Cut that up now. All right, so you're on my fancy dancy tripod now. I might need under the counter lighting. I might need under the counter lighting. My husband's mentioned it a couple times and I keep saying, nah, we don't need that. I think we need it now. Now that my hair is on the lettuce, let's cut it up. And I'm not gonna use <clears throat> this whole head. And I don't normally use head lettuce. I only like head lettuce on tacos. Otherwise I like like romaine and all the all the fancy expensive lettuces lettuces that's what I like now I usually cut this pretty small you know shred it it is gonna kind of go on a taco so I'm, I like to cut it in small pieces for lettuce ow oh jeez I almost caught my finger thought before it penetrated all right so let me get a bowl out Plop this in this bowl over here. You still there? I had to go stir the meat. You know, I have a gas top. No, I don't. Oh, my head is really not with me. Probably shouldn't be using sharp objects right now. I have a glass stock top electric stove. And if I could have done it all over again, I mean, I like it and all, ooh, that's brown, but I would have got a gas stove because I like those better. I don't know what I was thinking. And I just bought this stove, so it's not like I'm going to be getting a new one anytime soon because I'm not. I just like it better. Okay, we're going to save that. Let me get another bowl. So we've got the lettuce. Now, in my tacos, and I've got the bag of tomatoes here, in my tacos, I don't like a lot of stuff. I like lettuce, and I like tomatoes, and that's it. I'll be right back. I'm going to go wash these. Okay, I'm back. Listen, would you believe my husband just called me? Well, no, he texted me, and he said, do you want to go out to dinner tonight? No, I'm cooking. He's probably shocked by that because I don't cook very often. Well, I cook, but I, I have fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue, and I've got a rod in my spine, and I have two neck fusions. So a lot of the time, I'm in bed by, like, 5 o'clock, and if I didn't plan dinner in the morning, we order out. Right now, it's noon, and this is our dinner, and I'm planning the dinner because I probably don't need all these tomatoes. I will get through my sentence in a minute. I saying? Jeez. Right now it's noon. Let's finish my set thought before I go on. And I'm going to make this now because I have a feeling I got up at 6 30 in the morning because my granddaughter was supposed to come over and my daughter texted me at seven o'clock in the morning and said, Hey, my husband's off today. She's just going to stay home with him. You couldn't have told me that last night. So I didn't have to get up at 6 30 in the morning. I was going to get up at six. So I reset my alarm that's okay but I'll probably be in bed early tonight because I didn't get enough sleep so we're gonna like chop up these tomatoes now these aren't actually going in the tacos so if you, if you need them to be bigger like that that's it let's try it this way and see if it works better oh hey yes oh I think my knife needs sharpened that's in my husband's department too because every time I sharpen a knife I mess up I get splinters in the knife I just let's do it this way just cuz I don't know he's he's a good knife sharpener so he can just do it that's my theory and I probably have 
it's just going to be the cup. Oh, well. I'm sure I have too many tomatoes, but that's okay. And I'm making a mess. Listen, I'm not a chef either, okay? I'm no chef. I just get it done. And I need a sharper knife, probably. So let's put all these tomatoes in this bowl. And I've got too many of them in there. And you know what I do sometimes? I should have done this. I'm going to do it. I'll put a paper towel in a bowl because then it um, soaks up some of the juice from the tomato. So I'm going to transfer that those tomatoes into another bowl before I add these because I'm just going to do that. Oh, I got too many tomatoes. That's all right. So this is all I like on my tacos, so add whatever you want, because we're just going to end up piling all this stuff in the middle of this cool looking taco ring. Let's get another bowl of paper towels, and we'll put these tomatoes on top of, in the paper towels, put this in the sink, <sighs> put these in here, and they can like do their thing in there and drip dry or whatever they want to do. So we'll let those soak up moisture in there. Okay, I will be right back. I have my cast iron skillet. I'm going to try to do this in my cast iron skillet because if you watched my video a couple days ago, I think you're cooking. I'm not sure. Well, anyway, I tried to season this and I like screwed it all up. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if this is going to work because after I seasoned it, the pan was sticky. So what I did was I put more, a little more, coated it again with oil, and put it, I put it back in a hotter oven and just left it there. In fact, I turned my oven up to the hottest heat, and I left it there all night. It seemed to be a little better. I don't know. I'm going to try to make it in this pot. So what you need now are biscuits. Normally what you use are the croissants. I have grocery order delivery because it's easier for my life and they didn't have croissants all they had were big biscuits so i'm going to try to make this work with the big biscuits never did it before with the big biscuits but i'm going to try it who here hates to open these things i hate i hate opening these things because hopefully it'll just open You ready? I, I hate doing this. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Okay. So the goal is to have an outer round circle of biscuits. I'm going to, I don't know. We're going to just try to make it work. The croissants are kind of like in a triangle. Just mush the biscuit down. Let's try that. Mush the biscuit down. Mushing. Oh. Wait, I have a little rolling pin that I bought just for things like this. Voila, my little rolling pin. Pampered chef, thank you. All right, you know you go to those parties and you don't know what to buy? Well, I bought a little rolling pin and this is like perfect. So we're going to flatten out this biscuit. And then once it's flattened out, we're going to put it over here. Long ways. Yeah, we'll do long ways. Well, let me see. Put it maybe up half the pan. Yeah, that will work better. Because you want it to... We're going to end up folding that over. This might just end up being a hot mess. I don't know. Just stay tuned. And I'm hoping it doesn't stick in this skillet. I hope that... So you kind of want to do that. Now, if you were using a pizza pan or something like that, I would use my pizza pan, but I had it underneath my, if you watch my video, I put it underneath my, uh, this pan upside down so the oil drippings would drip. Needless to say, my pizza pan is a toast. I don't mean buttered toast either. Let's just keep doing this. Keep doing this. Just flatten these little buggers out. because the biscuits are shrinking back up as I go I'm gonna like fold them over this top and maybe they won't shrink I don't know I'm experimenting experimenting together 
My kids really like this. My husband, I haven't made it for him in a while. Now I gotta open the other can. Yay! Which means I might layer it tighter. I don't know. Okay. Oh, I screwed it up. Come on, Michelle, do better. Well, maybe if I would have went from the, the pool here tab, it would have helped. Let me smack this one. Oh, jeez. Okay. Got that. Let's just keep rolling biscuits. If you have space in between your biscuits, that's all right. Because you know the biscuits, they get bigger as they go. So we'll go with this one right here. This better work, by golly. These biscuits are shrinking awful fast. And I hope it doesn't stick to this pan. Because that would be disappointing. Try to make something nice for your husband and then you gotta chisel it out with a, one of his tools from the garage. We don't want that to happen. I thought about putting some butter in the bottom of this, but then I thought, no, then the biscuits will burn. So that idea went out the window. Here's my last biscuit. I'm sorry, this is taking forever. So now what you wanna do is get your meat. So get your taco meat, my taco meat, and you wanna spoon it. Here, let me move you in closer. See, I got my biscuits all around. They're in a circle in my pan. There. So you want to take it. I'm sorry, my dog is barking at probably nothing. And you want to just put scoops in. Here. On this. <sighs> you know, I don't want to tell the dog not to bark. Because I want the dog to bark when someone's coming. But sometimes, sometimes it's just too much. It's like we don't need all of that barking. We really don't. So you want to scoop your meat around in circular fashion and just keep going around. You can do it till your meat's all gone if you want. I think that's what I like to shoot for here. I'd give it to the dog, but my dog's not Mexican. My dog is actually a Labradoodle, but has more lab in it than Poodle. I know you're interested in this. My dog's mother was a full-blooded white standard Poodle. And her father was a full-blooded chocolate lab. And we are thinking about breeding her next spring to a full-blooded golden retriever. Son-in-law's mother has a full-blooded golden retriever. And we are seriously thinking about breeding. The only thing is, is I don't know where to put the puppies. My dog is so attached to me that, and my husband, that... I mean, more so me, the dog follows me everywhere I go, sleeps under my bed now. It just, I don't know how it would go with puppies if I put her like in the garage or something because it's an indoor dog. All right, so now what you want to do is take these pieces over and fold them and pinch. Over and pinch. And like I said, you can leave some gaps because, I mean, the biscuits will fill it up. Oh, there's a, a meat ran away. And like I said, I've never done this in the, my cast iron skillet before because it's been in the garage because I got mad at it and wanted to buy other pots and pans. And I did that and hated those. Okay, let's make sure they're gushed down good. So now we put this in the oven and whatever your biscuit can says, put them in for that long. My biscuit can said like 350 for, I don't know, I tore up the directions, but I know it was, oh, here's one. 350 for... Let's see, 13 to 16 minutes. So we're gonna go for like 13 or 14 and look at it and make sure it's okay. So I'm gonna go put this in the oven. All right, it's done. And when it comes out of the oven, it's gonna be like a golden brown. Check that out. Ready. Let me get my pot holder out here. I guess it worked in my cast iron skillet. So now you have a ring of tacos, which is pretty good. And in the center there, when everything cools down, I'll put the lettuce and the, the tomato that I have over there in the center. And it'll make a pretty ring. This is fun to make for parties, families, because it, it's just pretty. So we'll let it cool down and um, put the other stuff on top of it. My husband will eat sour cream with it. It looks yummy. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and come back for more. And I will see you next time. There's the taco ring.